large gallery or small museum. Yeah. But, but there's like really cool things. Good news is I got a Harley Quinn bion and Allison. Wow. Bad news is that J. Scott Campbell didn't get to my sketchbook. Ooh. And I was first in line. Oh. He got one sketch all weekend. Yeah, I was talking to him on last night, and he was just like, I was like, so how did Because he had lines that went on forever for signatures. Well, it's, it's weird because he said, um, he said he took a couple of uh, sketches, and he decided, okay, well, I'm never going to get through signing this stuff. So he told the people, well, I'll, I'll do one signature, and then any other signature is $5. Yeah. To basically clear the line. And he said, and no one left. <laughs> yeah, no one more cookies as you need them. Mm -hmm. Right here. I need to line for Stan Lee. Oh, dude. Jump that's uh, yeah. me, so Yeah, that's a line you don't want to miss. Yeah, and do yeah. you know if I'll be able to get to the bottom girl, or I can just wait on that? Yeah. I think Thank I should so be able to. Yeah. All right. we'll, see, we'll see how things go today, exactly. but I should be able to. And I've already put a pit on this. So like, oh, oh, nice. <laughs> it's going to be a fun day. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey. Yes, please. Oh, so the Lee Marvin's coming back to you now. Because I can hear him in my head now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, he's Mr. Brush. He's very tall. Yeah, Lee Marvin don't play.
did that one for me. Okay, I have a couple of Austin family outfits. So let's do oh, right uh, it on his friends. It's a uh, liquid mask that's over. We are looking for a Spider-Man grocery bag. Yeah. It has Doctor Who, Kitty Cat, but, um, but it's there so that. Um, I'm sure yeah, this I don't pay over it. And what I want is I want it to be like really spontaneous, you know, just, like just a lot of stuff. Or it belongs to a 23-year-old boy. I don't know. <laughs> so keep your eyes out for Spider-Man, Grocery, the Doctor Who, and Kitty Cat Postman's uh, postcards. If you find it, please bring it up to the announcement bench or to the registration oh, desk. Oh, we also have somebody in employee card. That they drop, it looks like one of those electronic ones you swipe and go into a building and you know, you may have. So if you are missing your employee pass card, come up to the information room, please, and we'll get it back to you if you match the picture. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how's it going, dude? How are you? What's up, man? Not much. You remember me? Yeah. I'm flattered. <laughs> Yeah, how are you, man? What's going on? How would you get into, man? Trouble. <laughs> Came up here to support Steve Morgan and see oh, all yeah. the major talent here. Good sketchbook. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, this is uh, my first time coming to the show. That's a reason to the show. I've got a little time in my hands these days, so it's, uh, it's fun to get out. Oh, yeah. Uh, tap Lee every once in a while to make sure he stays around. I didn't understand what he said either. He said, tap me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I try to throw stuff at her to keep her on her toes. So how you been, man? Uh, you think I've been uh, having a good time, man. Cool. I've been a little out of it for a while. With, oh, really? uh, what are you up to in uh, comics? Um, right now, I'm working on the, uh, a monthly. Stanley, anyone who has an autograph oh, cool. ticket, one through six hundred. One through um, six hundred. Come on down. Ooh. How do they help you get in line? One through six hundred. Yeah, I like Ross. He's good people. Oh man, Ross is uh, excellent people. I knew him when he was uh, like an assistant or intern over at Malibu. Uh, yeah, he told me um, like I didn't realize like you know where he was from. Yeah. Uh, because he seemed to like know everyone. And uh, and he's just like, oh yeah, you know when Malibu was uh, was doing their big thing with the uh, image guys, I was I was part of that. Yeah. Indeed. So how you doing, man? What are you get? <laughs> You do a little bit of this yourself? No, like, I used to, but I'm done. I used to Oh, really? Yeah. It's a great light this one. Oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I love doing uh, like this stuff, especially with uh, people who have like distinctive faces like this. Yeah, I've seen some of your uh, Bond, James Bond stuff, right? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Conrad's a good one. Yeah, um... Rick Bannon, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I believe I've pretty much, uh, you know, done, like, most of the cool James... All I need to do is Timothy Dalton. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He's, he's one of my favorites. I liked him, too. I really did. Uh, the movies, the was it two that he did? I enjoyed them. Yeah. And I think, um... I think... He was better than the movies he was in. Yes. <laughs> I like him in Rocketeer too. He's that guy. Ah, yeah. He's talented, but I think I saw this past year, uh, like a 50 years of Bond thing, and he's looking kind of old, you know? Really? Yeah. A lot of gray. Well, he's one of these guys that's been like, you know, sort of bathing in like, you know, sort of baby's blood because. <laughs> like, he, I mean, I remember him in, like, Flash Gordon. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, and he looked the same, like, 20 years later, you know. Yeah, true. So I was just like, whoa, what's he doing? And I guess, uh, you know, 
he must have stopped doing it or you know the cost of a, a virgin has got too expensive. <laughs> Old age. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it, dude. I don't know how you do standing up, man. Well, the uh, thing about it is, is once once I actually start the drawing, yeah, I don't think of anything else. <laughs> so that's cool. So in the zone, huh? Yeah. So I mean, when I finish with the drawing, I'll actually kind of go, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but once I'm once I'm in it, you know, I don't really see or feel anything. Cool. Great seeing you again, man. Oh, good seeing you. Are you going to be at San Diego? Uh, it looks like I'm definitely going to be this year. All right. Yeah, normally I'm not a San Diego kind of guy, but... Uh, yeah. But, uh, I know, you guys love heroes, and I don't get a chance to usually go out there. So... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, hi, right, man. You're, West, you're West Coast, right? Yeah, in Los Angeles. I'm actually in Culver City now. Okay. Yeah. Down the street from Comic Tickets. <laughs> I'll walk to get my comics. Part of my physical therapy, so. All right, man. Take right, care. Good, good seeing you. Yeah, real good seeing you, man. Thanks. All right. Hmm? Uh, the next show that I'm doing is going to be um, in... Um, North Carolina, uh, the Hero Show, and then uh, after that, I'm going to be going um, to uh, probably uh, San Diego. How soon? Um, it's about a month away. Three weeks. Yeah. You know, if it's the 16th weekend or the weekend. Well, it's weekend before that. It's a Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hometown. Uh, the board? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to see what this Bristol can take on. Oh, is Robert watching? Yeah, I see if we 
painting yourself? Oh, really? It's so accustomed to what? I'm more accustomed to that stuff. Ah. Not that I didn't want to, I just I just knew I had a lot to take in. Oh yeah, it's um, it's sort of like uh, switching heads, you know. Oh, that's so good. It's so, God, it's so difficult. I need the, you need the right professor too. Yeah, I think um, the tricky thing about it is, is uh, is really once you get your head to that place where you kind of uh, almost understand and accept the difference, you know, then it's just like, okay, now, now I'm having fun. Yes. Sometimes it takes a little while to, cool. to get to that space. Okay, folks, we have to go lost and found, and you're going to love this one. Somebody I, I dropped really their paycheck. Oh, like and yeah. it's already indoors. Did you have any advice? Huh? Oh, yeah. And I need a new ball jointed doll. <laughs> So, yeah, um, the, uh, the thing about check it is, your purse, your wallet, your pockets, when you're, um, you're missing your when you're painting, come up here and identify it. The toughest thing to do and is to really then, think in terms yeah. of, it's not about drawing anymore. <laughs> you know, it's not about, um, like drawing is about contour, capturing like the edge of things. And, uh, and painting is about shape. You know, so it's a, it's a different head. You know, um, and not only is it, is it about shape, but when you do it right, uh, it's about closed shapes. It's about finding those closed okay, shapes. Okay, it's lost and, and found out, folks. We have a lost camera in a blue case. Dealers so, like, um, when I'm doing this, I'm not really we'll thinking in terms of, like, drawing. I'm looking for shapes. Blue case. If and so, let us know even with blending, I don't do any blending. What much. I do is I kind of go, okay, that's a shape right there, that's a shape right there. <laughs> And I'm just basically putting those shapes in, just in a sense, rather than getting into a bunch of like protracted blending. I'm just, in a sense, sculpting rather than um, painting. And, uh, and once you get once you get to um, get into that point, where you can understand the difference between painting and drawing, then you really, you know, can turn loose. And it is, it is a lot of fun. It's really It's really good. It's just, it's really good. Yeah, so, um, it's actually a person that I like my best right now that's doing it. Like, I get that down. I'm starting to make big shapes because students have a tendency to, like, start off with small pieces and start drawing as if they were drawing. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're more drawing than painting. Yeah, nice. Huh? Huh? Marvin, right? Oh, toughest man in the world, man. Beautiful. Wow. Wonder time. When the, when the, when the, yeah, when the, 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 when I'd be, bend, yeah, I'd be bending spoons with my mind if I could do that, man. <laughs> I would be too good to be here. <laughs> All right. I'm like, good lord. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a blast with it, though, man. He's in. And uh, what's, uh, what's cool is, like, this girl came by and asked for her. Yeah. I was just like, that <laughs> girl. I was like, it's like you realize he's a man, right? <laughs> no, he, no, it's, he one of those guys that looks like he's doing Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he is like the toughest dude in the world, man. He was a, 
Did you ever see the Wild Bunch? Oh yeah. Dude. He was originally he was originally said to be at the William Holden part of Pike Bishop. But really? he was busy with something else and they gave it to Holden who made it his own. Yeah. yeah. But the thing about it is is uh He's got so many others. You know, He's got what? He, he has full ownership of so many other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was telling them when she came by and asked for it, I said, "You understand that, like, the dirty dozen. If the house was on fire and I was running out, and I glanced at the TV and the dirty dozen was on, I'd probably burn to death because I'd have to sit there and watch it." Like every time the dirty dozen comes on, I gotta watch it. Attention to the people looking for your Spider Man grocery bag. He has been turned in. I haven't seen that one. You haven't seen that? I know about it, but I haven't seen it. Ernie's an evil bastard. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
two at the same time. Uh, yeah. Hey, I mean, yours I'm, is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I got, got as big as I could go on that. That's good. That's good. I like that. doesn't matter, man. I mean, it's just like, a lot of times it's like what I happen to have in my hand, you know, sometimes it's like, well, this, this blends a little bit better than this, so. My sister, she like, uh, saw the picture on Facebook, she liked it, she hated Walking Dead, like, when I did, I cropped out the word Walking Dead, she was like, oh, I like that, she was gonna look like her, and she was like, I just wanted to walk it dead with it. Uh, like, I like it except the walking dead part. Oh, except for the walking dead part. You know, that part kind of kind of messes it up for her. Yeah. Hello? Just, just pretty much made me an instant fan with it. Just, because that's how it should be. It doesn't mean it should have been what you're using. I literally have the same exact kind of box of crayons. Ah. In, in my box, I'm the only one in my class that has crayons. And oh, really? Because they think, oh, okay, this is a paint class, you know. He is basically, my teacher was giving me crap because I kept on buying brushes from like this, what was it called? Factory second brushes, like like the really shitty brush that they put in the discount. Oh, dude, dude. And Those are the only brushes I use, man. That's exactly what I use. They're the ones with the ends that are broken off. I got brushes this small that I still use. All right, brushes. coming book fans, here we go. And coming I noticed right that after now, as the semester progressed, I stopped getting out my case. I, I was just showing up what I was able to do, which is brushes, they're just brushes. The oh, yeah. And switch. Jenny brought along advanced copies that's really what, Yeah, that's really what it's all about. It's, uh, it's, it's like, what, what are you achieving with it, you know? Yeah. Not, not what equipment you're using. Yeah. I mean, nobody ever says, hey, um, well, what, what brushes did Sergeant use? People just go, look at what the dude did. Yeah. I think I get it. As a teacher, he's just trying to tell those who don't know much about the paint world because he's going to assume everybody is a beginner or what the right stuff to you yeah. can, but I guess in the end, uh, it's just going to have to accept the fact that something there we just kind of yeah. get it. But. I mean, you know, there's certain situations where like, um, you know, I mean, with certain types of paints and stuff like that, yeah, you want to use the best material uh, available. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no. She said she had a limit, and I'm working within her limit. Once again, if you are holding an autograph ticket for Stan Lee, numbered from 1 to 600, you need to go downstairs and get in line in front of the Hilton lobby. If you have the blue Stan Lee autograph ticket, go downstairs, get in line in front of the Hilton. Number one, I want to. I want to stop doing that.
Is that the direction you thought it would go in? I thought you were actually going to try to like mimic the black and white part, but... Oh, no. That is much better. <laughs> yeah, the black and white's already done. I can't just do that. Yeah. I was... I've, got to, I've got to take it somewhere else. <laughs> Um, it's gonna probably end up on my Facebook page. Okay. Um, you can um, yeah, and you can just type in uh, spell things out, and I'll put you right there. Uh, yes, he does. In fact, he has his sniper's eye. It's very icy nice morning. I want you to draw Pete Campbell from Mad Men. That would be amazing. Ah, <laughs> yes. I don't know if you watch that show, but... Huh? Like, I don't watch the show, but I know. <laughs> he did the uh, lady. Yeah. Joan. Yeah. yeah. I did a Joan. No, Christina Hendricks. Yeah, I did a Joan and um, basically made it like a uh, magazine cover. Oh. Is that on your Facebook as well? Or? Yeah. Was it two years ago or was it last year? What did I do last year? All right, let me land this and get onto her. Very handsome sound. If you have a Stanley autograph blue ticket, number one through six hundred, you need to be downstairs and in line. Go downstairs in front of the lobby of the Hilton Hotel, say hi to Paris, and get in line to get your stuff. 